Hello and welcome to a little something me and my little brother are working on. It's inspired by uh, Baby Penguin and Tate Gaming's Fall of Caden series, um, and uh, we just thought I'd show you this little preview of um, the air war that's going to be going on. Each of us has put together two fighter crafts, um, as you can see here, and decided to test them out. Um, so we've got a little dogfight that's about to occur, and it will settle the rankings of the fighters and which ones will be used in the upcoming war, I guess. So right off the bat, here we have the F2 Hellspitter versus the KS3L. Um, the F2 Hellspitter is uh, the design by my brother, and I've got to say it makes for an excellent energy fighter, even if it is a bit on the small side. Um, whereas the KS3L, as you can see here, is a much larger uh, craft, it has a much larger wingspan. But, um, as a result of this, it has amazing turning capabilities. Uh, as you can see, the first shot's being fired here. Um, the uh, the uh, F2's breaking, oh no, the KS3L's breaking and the F2's chasing. Uh, if you saw the uh, KS3L dodge to the left, and you'll see that one's going to come back round in a second, and there we go. Takes out the first of the F2s, um, and at this point, I thought it was all over because I saw more explosion different distance and realized that this is the remaining F2. So, a bit of casual, friendly fire by one of the KS3Ls in the background there, isn't that lovely? And comes in for a strafing one that misses there, as you can see, dodging out of the way. The small speck in the background, you can see, is the F2, um, so that's. This dogfight dragged on for a lot longer than I expected. Um, I thought with the KS3L's amazing maneuverability, it would be all over the F2 and would, you know, settle this score relatively quickly. But apparently, the F2 had either had other plans, and the KS3L kept on making what I think would could be considered as mistakes. Another miss, missed run there. Um, comes back round for more shots, misses them all. Great. Um, and here, see, it lines up again, misses. The F2 is doing really well to continue turning against this KS3L. Uh, the KS3Ls were designed with maneuverability in mind. The fact that the smaller and, I would say, less maneuverable F2 is just still dodging it, dodging all the bullets. Here the oh shots quite far up so is that okay so the, now the F2 is taking runs at the um, KS3 out and uh, this surprised me I didn't think that F2 would even get to this point uh, but it does it holds its own does well um, KS3 L dodges weaves comes back around as you can see the F2 there, buzzes over the top. I thought it was going to crash at this point, but it pulls out, and so the fight continues. As you can see here, the KS3L turning in. Seems to line up, but then doesn't follow through on the uh, shooting. Um, breaks away. Rolls over again. We can see the F2 in the distance there. Um, and as this as it turns in, dodges some of the shots from the F2, F2 zooms past, yet again, dodging more shots, the KS3L flips over. At this point, I thought he was going to get on his tail, but as we can see, clearly chooses to break left instead. Bit of a mistake, I think. Not something I would have done. I would have kept on him. And, and now the F2 has shots. So... The KS3L does the only thing a sensible pilot would do and, you know, waits, flying in a straight line, and only when the F2 disengages does he turn, which is sensible, I guess. Whatever floats you better name. Um, and then here we go, he turns around, lines up, and just breaks off again. I don't think, I know he's not out of ammo, he hasn't fired that many shots. 
and yet again, more turning, just instead of engaging the F2, flying very defensively, which I think is going to lead, is what's going to lead to the inevitable outcome of this at this point. Here's the F2, dodging and weaving and rolling. Don't know why he's rolling. KS3L climbing, turning, but the F2's now got a bead and it's stuck fast on his tail. KS3L doing some weird inverted manoeuvres. F2 looks like it's going to crash, pulls up. Surprisingly good at not hitting the floor compared to some of the later planes you'll see. Um, see it here again, the KS3L places itself on the tail and then breaks off. I'm not sure what's happening with it, but you can see he turns back in for another go, but the F2 is having none of it. Turn again. And KS3L must have broken off again, but this time it's really gonna make a difference. Yes, because as he comes up, turns around, lines up the shot, breaks off again, yet again, another mistake. The F2 this time has him, and so as you can see, the winner goes to the goes the winning spot goes to the Hellspitter in this case. Uh, and now it's the Monsoon Mark II versus the KS47F. Um, both of the KS series I designed um, were built as ground attack aircraft to begin with. They weren't supposed to be fighters, but due to rather amazing mobility and handling both of them, I decided to switch them to fighter roles. So I guess at this point it's just a trial of how good a fighter they are. Um, so here you see the F, F1 Mark II Mark II, improved over the F1. Uh, F1 Monsoon by having a larger wingspan, but as you can see, a bit more of a bullet trap as we blow the uh, little star symbol off the F of the Monsoon's wing there. This Monsoon must be having a great time because now he's got the full attention of two of the F or KS 47s, and the other Monsoon just wanted to become friends with the four at high velocity. Great. Um, and turning in, but caught by the 30mm, absolutely shredded. So the KS-47L wins this round. On to the next. Here is the third place decider. And as you can see, this is the two planes with the, the rather large wingspans. Uh, I thought that they would do better, both of these planes, but... Oh well, sometimes things don't quite go the way you expect. The F1s take an extremely long time to take off. Sometimes you'll hear me refer to them as monsoons, sometimes F1s, but same plane, doing the same job. And, uh, well, same job ish, I guess. Maybe not. Depends on what, what happens in the, following, in the following few weeks as we prepare for this war. Um, I don't know how my little brother's going to, well, I'm going to be recording the war series and posting it onto YouTube, obviously, but I don't know if my, t my little brother's going to be doing that. Uh, I doubt it. So I think we're just going to have to, I'm gonna, he's going to have to have any scene screenshots, I'll put like a compilation of screenshots up to show you what occurred in his turn. And here you can see uh, F1 dodging shots from the KS3L. Turning in, turning round, gas 3 l overshoots, monsoon flies up, gaining altitude. Um, switch over to the other monsoon, to see what he's doing. He's quite a bit away from the action, so I wanted to check on him. Uh, but he's taking a run up on the next gas 3 l No shots from either, and dodges out the way. Monsoon diving towards the floor, pulls up. And this is the point where I realised there was no explosion to it, so I'm not sure what happened, but the other monsoon, one of the monsoons yet again, decides to become a boat instead of a plane, and thus leaves the other one alone and 
destroyed. So the third place goes to the ks 3 l and the F1 wants you is the loser. Now we have the the winners of the other answers, the final. I decided not to caption this because I just wanted to give you the, the experience of the, the two dog fighting, I guess. Um, both powered by the same engine, um, but F2 uh, surprisingly heavy considering the size. I guess you could say that the KS forty seven F is incredibly light for its size. It's the lightest plane in the competition, despite being, I think, the largest by length and the second largest by wingspan. Um, and so, I'm not really sure how things developed as they did in this one because the. F2s get shots off really early, and usually that's what, you know, clinches the win, but it just didn't happen this time. Um, and as you can see, the KS47 one eliminates one of the F2 ones, uh, F2 Hellspitters really quickly, second one banking in, and lines up shots, and from here it's really just the same old story. KS-47F lines up the shots and pulls the trigger. Doesn't kill it on the first shot, but the second burst is going to end this poor dogfight. And not content with just leaving it with a wing off, continue chasing. You know, not going to let it escape at all. So more 30 round, 30 millimeter rounds coming in, completely eliminated. Thank you very much for watching, even if it is only my second video, and I probably know everybody who is watching this. Hey, I'll see you next time.